Are you a serious dinosaur collector that wants to make better buying decisions? If so, this is the show for you. Welcome to episode 31 of the Dinosaur Review Show. Today we are going to continue on with our foray into the T-Rex models, and we are going to look at the three Papo models that are available on the market. In episode 30, we discussed the fossil record, so if you have not seen the fossil record information, you can just go back and take a look at that episode. So we're just going to jump right into it. And George, which Papo model would you like to get started with? Let's go with the vertically standing one. So this is the brown standing Papo T-Rex. Now, right off the bat, this looks just like Rexy from Jurassic Park. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, this looks just like the final victory pose that the T-Rex does after it beats the raptors in Jurassic Park, where the banner falls down and says, when dinosaurs ruled the earth. And you notice me opening the mouth, so it does have an opening jaw. The teeth stick out, which, you know, I like lips on dinosaurs, so that's that's already points off, but it looks so much like Rexy. It's it's crazy how, how like accurate the sculpt is of the skull to the uh, to the T-Rex in the movie. And even the eye, look at that golden eye, staring right back at you like through the car window. Strong neck, very good uh, for a T-Rex. The arms are closer to proportion what we see in T-Rexes uh, in the fossil record, but very muscly. Look at that. I bet this T-Rex works out. The thighs are pretty well structured and look at the paint on those scales that's really neat it looks just like an eagle's like foot toe doesn't seem to be pinched in this one so that's kind of a little points off for accuracy there no cloaca wait wait what is this i didn't expect there to be a cloaca but there is a cloaca there the tail wraps around it looks a little short for my opinion especially like very thin here but i will say paint and presentation wise this is an amazing figure Okay, George, there are two more models from Papel. They actually are the same pose, just in different colors. One's green, one's brown. Where would you like to get started? Let's start with the brown one. So this, I've heard it be referenced to as the running T-Rex from Papo, uh, because it is in the correct horizontal pose instead of the vertical pose we saw earlier. I gotta say, this skull looks so much more battle damage than the other one. You've got scarring, you've got teeth broken, and kind of jagged. There's one even sticking out here in the front. It has a little bit of extra osteodermal plating on top of its head that the other one did not have. It only had the crest. The tongue is also in a dynamic pose. Arms are extra long in this one. Look at this. That That's too big. These arms are too big for a T-Rex. At least they still have the two fingers. You can see the ribs there. So this one's a bit shrink wrapped. That means it's uh, its skin is tight onto the muscles and the bones. So this one's hungry. If we go to the bottom, look at the feet. It slightly looks pinched in the middle, but it, I think it's a similar foot sculpt to the previous T-Rex we talked about. So I don't think that's pretty accurate. Oh my God, what is going on here? Look how skinny it is. Oh wow, that's so thin. And I don't think they included a cloaca on this one, unless that's what that is here. We'll just say that it is. It has a longer tail, which is good. That's more accurate. It's thicker at the base, thinner at the end. I do appreciate that it's in the correct posture, but man, it looks so skinny at the top. This was not my favorite so far. Okay, George. Well, if the brown one's not your favorite, I don't think the same model in a different color is really going to do much for you either. So let's take a look at the green one. So this one is a very striking green color. Now there's one major difference between this one and the other one. And it's probably that it is referencing the T-Rexes from Jurassic Park, The Lost World the second Jurassic Park movie. We don't really have many green T-Rexes that are similar to the ones in the movie. So I think that has it going for it. And this is a funny little anecdote that's that's relevant to this T-Rex is this is the T-Rex you see whenever anything is advertised for T-Rex. They use this dinosaur toy. They use both the silhouette and the skull. It's just so widely used in marketing for anything having to do with dinosaurs. You're talking about dinosaur birthday parties. You're talking like a a dinosaur themed uh, event, they're gonna use this Popo to advertise it. I'll keep an eye out for it. I haven't noticed that, but now that you oh. mention it, I probably will see it everywhere I look. Yeah, you'll be like, I know that dinosaur. Jorge talked about that dinosaur. I think everything it's sculpt wise is the same. It's just a color that's different. But with the color difference, the eyes pop out more and the skin tones inside the mouth pop out more. They kind of blend it in with the brown of the previous figure. It is easier to see the stripes along the back than the other one. I barely even noticed them on the other one. And yeah, pretty much the same all throughout as the other one was. But I do kind of like this one a bit better than the brown one. Yeah. Is it possible it's from the UK because its teeth are all jacked up? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. <just> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you're lucky Popo is a, a French company otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, George, that is the Papo T-Rex in its entirety. All three of them are exactly the same price. Which one would you add to your collection? I'm going to go against what I usually say is, you know, typically going with the scientifically accurate one, only because of the pose. So I'm going to pick the first one we reviewed, the upright standing T-Rex, just because it looks just like the T-Rex from Jurassic Park, Rexy. And it's in that victory pose. I, I honestly think that's even cooler than the than the more accurate running poses, just because it has, uh, you know, that pop culture reference. So in this case, you're not going for the more scientifically accurate. You're going for the flashy. You're going for the flash in the pan. Yes. All right. There we go. George, I don't know what to do. I'm dumbfounded. <laughs> hey, I, I, I'm still full of surprises. <laughs> you're fired, George. You're only supposed to get the scientifically accurate ones. <laughs> well, they didn't meet the cut either. So worthless, what can I say? Worthless opinions are my specialty. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, George has decided that he would go with the less scientifically accurate standing T-Rex from Papo. If you enjoyed this episode, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.